Hello my fellow mathematician and a scientist. Welcome to this video tutorial whereby we are going to look at how we obtain the integrals of this uh, trigonometric function. The, the seven of them. So I want us to start with the obvious. The integral of sine of x dx is equal to uh, negative cos of x plus constant c. So that is obvious directly. The integral of cos of x dx, this is given by sine of x plus constant c. Now those ones we need to master them, but this other one, there is a, a, a procedure you use. For example, we start with integral of cot of x dx. We are going to write it as a integral of cos of x divided by sine of x dx. Now we are going to integrate this by letting. So we are going to let our u to be equal to sine of x so that you get our du as equal to cos of x dx. Then here we are going to, to, to substitute instead of cos of x dx, we are going to substitute it with du. Instead of sin x, we will substitute it with u. So integral of du divided by u. Then the, the numerator is du because it is cos x dx, which is equal to natural logarithm of u modulus plus constant c, which is equal to natural logarithm of sine of x plus constant c. So of course, when you look at the mathematical uh, table for the integrals, uh, you are going to get, uh, you shall get this result. They are there directly. But it is important you know the process so that you don't have to cram. Sometimes you may forget. So if you know this process, uh, you can easily convert them yourself. So the integral of cot of x with respect to dx is given by natural logarithm of sine of x, uh, sorry, plus constant c plus a constant c. We move on to, to the next one. How do we integrate uh, cosec x? So this one, what you are going to do, we are going to cosec x. We are going to multiply the numerator with cos x plus uh, cot x and we divide the denominator by the same cos x plus uh, cot x. Everything here is dx. dx. So we are going to let our u to be equal to cos x plus cot of x. Then we differentiate du will give you a negative cos x multiplied by cot of x. Then from there we we differentiate cot cot differentiated will give you negative cosec square and x everything here is uh, dx so here we can factor negative outside negative into bracket cosec x cot of x plus cosec squared x. 
everything dx. Now when you compare du with the numerator here, you can see here you are going to, when you remove the bracket, you will get cosec square and x plus cosec x cot x. So the, the entire of the numerator will be substituted by du. So you are going to have integral of du negative is outside remember divided by divided by divided by u this is equivalent to negative natural logarithm of u plus c which is equal to negative natural logarithm of cosec x plus cot of x modulus plus c as we are substituted there. So that is how you, you integrate. That is how you get your integral. Integral of cosec of x dx is equal to natural logarithm of cos x minus cot of x plus constant c. Next we look at integral of sec of x dx. So the first step is to introduce and both in the numerator and in the denominator sec of x plus tan of x. Whatever you do to the numerator, we do to the denominator, we divide by the same plus tan of x. Everything dx. So we are going to let our u be equal to sec of x plus tan of x. That is our u. So we differentiate this. So du is equal to sec differentiated will give you sec of x multiplied by tan of x. Tan differentiated will give you sec squared x. Everything here of, of course is dx. Now when you look at the numerator, this is sec squared x. At the numerator, this is a sec squared x plus sec x tan x. So the numerator will be substituted by du integral of sec of x dx is equal to du divided by u integral, which is equal to natural logarithm of u plus constant c, meaning that our result will be natural logarithm of our u, we have let our u to be sec of x plus tan of x. Everything here modulus plus constant c. So that is how you obtain that, that result in your simple step method. Next we look at uh, how to obtain a integral. integral of sec of x multiplied by tan of x. Everything here is dx. So to do this, what we are going to do, we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the sec x. That one, dx. Then we divide it by sec of uh, x everything here integral so we are going to let our u be equal to sec of x our du will be equal to sec of x uh, tan of x everything dx now 
when you look at this uh, when you look at this one sec of x tan of x dx is our du then sec sec of sec x is u so you substitute with u divided by u multiplied by du which is equal to integral of uh, du which is simply integral of u i mean which is u plus constant c hence the result of integral of sec of x sec of x multiplied by tan of x dx will give you a sec of x plus c so that is how they are obtained when you see them in the table know that that is how they are obtained next uh, we want to see how we, we obtain integral of cosec of x multiplied by cot of x dx so to integrate this what we do is uh, we, we multiply the numerator by cosec of x and the denominator by cosec of x this is integral remember everything here is dx then we are going to let our u be equal to cosec of x when you, you integrate this you are going to get the du is equal to negative of cosec of x multiplying by cot of x everything dx so this part here cosec of x and multiplying by cot of x and dx will be substituted by a uh, negative du So integral of cosec of s cot of, of x will be given by integral of du, which is the same as u plus constant c, which is equal to our u is there is negative, yes, yeah, sorry, there is negative, negative cosec of x plus constant c. That is how that result is obtained. Finally, to obtain tan of x and dx, we will be given by, we write tan in terms of sine of x divided by cos of x dx. And here we are going to let our u be equal to cos of x. Our du will be equal to negative sine of x dx. So integral of tan of x dx will be given by negative integral of du over u. Our cos, cos x is u. Our sin x dx is sin x dx. So which is equal to negative of mm, natural logarithm of uh, u plus c which is equal to negative natural logarithm of a uh, cos of x modulus plus constant c which can be written as natural logarithm of sec of x sec of x modulus plus so thanks so much for taking your time to study with me on how integrals of trigonometric function are obtained for other video tutorials on integration of trigonometric functions kindly remember to tune you on to my youtube channel at look Aaron, look Aaron one, and you are going to assess all the content of this nature, which is going to build you up. 
Bye-bye. See you in the next video which I upload every day.